Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and a little update here on the RTL SDR V4 and uh, the questions that came through email, actually, uh, from one viewer that has a V3, says he's happy with it and that he wants me to um, talk more about the V4 from what I, my perspective of what I know on it. Is it worth it moving from V3 to V4? I don't think so, personally. I think you get the same performance. Uh, I'll be, you know, even though it's a little different. And even the RTL SDR blog, uh, when you start reading about, you know, should I move on to V4 or not, uh, they kind of say, you know, there's no real need to move on. So that's one of the first things maybe that you, you know, should understand. Of course, if you want to get a V4, uh, they're back order. They say not before at least the end of September right now. Um, what exactly does the V4, you know, is it easier to, to install? Is it, and it's still, you know, uh, somebody was mentioning on the channel that, oh, it's easier to install. It's just moving a DLL file. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's the exact thing that I always talk about. Somebody uh, somewhere that thinks that that's easy for everybody and it's not. And we got to stop that because that's, you know, trash talk. I always say it. If, you have to do weird things, moving DLL files around. You just lost a huge number of people that have no idea how to do it. So that is where my uh, stand is on the RTL SDR V4. Uh, yes, it is plug and play for the SDR play because you just install the software. It installs the drivers and the stuff that you need. You plug the device and it works here. It's not just I install the stuff. It's I have to tweak a driver. I have to take this file and move it here. And that's not plug and play. Okay. Uh, understand what plug and play means. It means you don't have to play with files. You just click and install and it is going to work at the end. So that's very important to understand here. The... Um, if I um, had one thing that would um, say that it's a little more positive, uh, since the V4 has an up converter that is actually on on the device, uh, one of the changes, the major change probably would come from the fact that on V3, uh, if you want to switch from HF listening to VHF, UHF, you have to actually go into software and move to the Q branch for shifting what you want to listen to. That also brings a lot of images. Um, in the V4, that has changed because of the up converter. So um, I would expect better performance here, uh, especially um, in regards to what could be um, shortwave images, since you don't have to do that. Uh, but for the rest, it's, it's very similar. Honestly, it's very similar to the original, except for a few little things that have changed. They have moved on to an R828 um, or something like that, uh, which is the, uh, the uh, new chip that they're using, uh, R828D, it says here. Uh, and the reason why is the V3 uses an R860. And what happens is that that chip actually increased in price quite a lot. So it actually um, is was cheaper to now add this R828D uh, to um, actually manufacture it. Uh, for the rest, you know, I'll say it again and again. Um, if somebody asks me, I know how to deal with, you know, moving files around and, and installing this thing. Uh, should I? You're going to have a lot of fun with an RTL SDR. It's, it's obvious. If you are tech savvy a little uh, and want to dabble into the uh, SDR for the first time and you don't want to spend too much money, definitely. This is a cool little device. You'll have decent performance out of it. You receive shortwave very well. Uh, it is interesting to note that they do say that because of increased filtering, there might be a drop of a couple of uh, dB of the sensitivity in some parts so that don't know exactly how that really changes the performance much i've seen a, a video online where 
somebody switches between the V3 and the V4. Indeed, the V4 seemed to have less signals on its waterfall in the same settings. But then again, it's kind of difficult to really uh, check that out. But uh, I'd say the biggest concern for me, if you are going to buy this, make sure that you buy it from the RTL SDR page in the links that they have. Nowhere else. It's extremely important because one of the biggest problems is the fact that you can get a counterfeit one, which is definitely a problem because you'll never be able to receive shortwave. Unfortunately, they pretty much tag the same information on it. So the V4 or the V3 that's counterfeit looks like an original one, but it isn't. So that's why you need to go to the rtlsdr.com website to buy it. I'll post a link to it in the description below. Don't go anywhere else than where they are sending you to buy it because you never know what you're going to get. Uh, don't buy it off of eBay from anybody else than where you, they are sending you to make sure that you get the real deal. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.